The Master Eth official Discord is now up and running. If you would like to join, please press the first link in the description to join the rest of the Ethernet. I've lived a long time, and because of this, I've somehow managed to find people to deal with me and are in my life on a consistent basis. These people are called friends. These friends have helped me when I was going through my deepest, darkest times and have made me laugh so hard that it hurt to breathe. I'm thankful for each and every one of them. Since the emergence of the internet, however, there has been a new breed of friend. The internet friend. Internet friends have always been weird from the start, especially when your mom asks you where you found your new friend and you freeze up because you don't want to explain the vast complexity that is your relationship. I've made several internet friends due to Call of Duty, Twitter, Instagram, and to my surprise, even this YouTube channel. Without this channel, I wouldn't have met Hannah, Mateo, Amarias, and Madison. All amazing people who you should subscribe to, by the way. Out of these four people though, Madison is the one that I had a very unlikely chance of becoming friends with. Last year, I got into a YouTuber named Robert IDK, and he became my favorite for a time. I got so invested into his content that I followed him on Twitter. During this time, Madison was also a very avid fan of Robert, so much so that she made an entire video about how to make one of his videos. She shared it to Twitter and Robert actually ended up retweeting it. This showed up in my feed and I watched the video. Hey what's up guys it's your boy Johnny D <laughs> coming back at ya with them cool kicks <laughs> brother. Oh. <laughs> I liked this video so much that I ended up binging her YouTube channel and even subscribed. Over time we got to know each other really well and ended up becoming friends. This is one example of many how the internet has made our lives better. It's connected us in ways that we never imagined in the past. It's made friends Friendships that were not previously probable, possible. I would consider myself successful with maintaining internet friendships. I've known Amarias for a year, so there's that. But seriously, most of the time, I've ended up bonding with somebody over a common interest, and with the revolution of the internet, this makes it insanely easier. Have an interest in a certain TV show? There's a fandom for that. Want to have a dedicated team in a game? Make a clan. Convinced that the earth is flat? We got that too. I'm just saying that since there's 7 billion people in the world, it's almost a guarantee that you're gonna find somebody that likes what you like. Once you've found the common interest, the kicker is trying to maintain this relationship without it becoming creepy. This is where messaging apps come into play, but which ones do you choose? I have found that when you're just now starting up an internet friendship, stick with the most local messaging service you have available to the both of you, preferably something that's on the same site that you both use. If you're talking to this person on a daily basis, you've now upgraded to Snapchat or Discord. If you talk to them to the point where you really trust them, use Skype or even your own personal phone number if you know that person isn't a serial killer. Hannah, please don't kill me. Speaking of messages, one of these messaging apps in particular is Snapchat. Snapchat has always been really cool because it's an easy way to stay in contact with somebody without having to give your own personal number. Since its basic function is sending videos and pictures, it's been the tool that has given me a human connection with these people and cements it in my brain that, wow, these are real people and not just a notification. The longer I've lived, it seems that my group of internet friends has grown more and more, and my group of IRL friends have just really been a few close friends. This has happened due to the fact that I'm on the internet basically every day, and it's so easy to message any of my friends. Sure, I can message my IRL friends, and I do, but with internet friends, sometimes all you get is messaging, which makes it mean a lot more. I want to personally thank Austin, Chris, Chloe, Hannah, Hannah, Mateo, Amarias, William, and Madison for being great internet friends. I appreciate all of you, and I'm so glad that we've met.